Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make sweet and sour carrot chutney or khatta mitha gajar ke chutney. So let us see what ingredients we need. First here I have uh, one big carrot and then here I have this much of jaggery or gur and then here I have handful of tamarind or inli. The next thing I have is uh, about half teaspoon of black salt, one fat pinch of hing, one third teaspoon of jeera powder, then again here I have one fourth teaspoon of black pepper powder. So friends that's it with the ingredients. Now let us see how to make this chutney. So here what I did is I uh, washed and uh, soaked the imli or tamarind in enough water overnight and after that I just uh, blended the jaggery and tamarind together. So here I used uh, palm jaggery but you can use any form of jaggery you have and then you can create the jaggery if it is in solid form and then blend the imli and the gul that is jaggery and tamarind together to form a semi thick paste like this. And now I'm going to use this uh, blended jaggery and imli in my recipe. So here I have the grated carrot that is the whole carrot which I showed you I grated it and now in a clean blender I'm adding the grated carrot that is a large carrot grated now I will put the lid on and blend it so after blending here I have uh, this consistency of uh, carrot puree or blended carrot you can see it's uh, not very thick uh, it's the thinner consistency because carrot has uh, juices in it but not to worry because we will try this puree in the pan so this consistency is okay for our carrot chutney so now in a non-stick pan I am adding extra virgin uh, mustard oil now this mustard oil adds pungency to the dish so skipping this mustard oil for any other oil is not uh, desirable so i ask you to use mustard oil for this recipe and spreading the oil to grease the pan a bit and then the oil is hot here I am adding the green or the potida now I will stir for 10 to 15 seconds till the green is fragrant so I will keep it like this for few more seconds and now that the green is become green has become fragrant I am adding the carrot puree to the pan now the next uh, thing I need to do is I need to keep stirring you can see here uh, so keep stirring in between for about uh, 8 to 9 minutes you say you can say so after that here you can see the juices are reduced lot reduced so here I added the black salt again after stirring for a few more minutes now I am adding the tamarind pulp so you can see the whole mixture has again become um, uh, thinner so you ask me why to dry up the carrot puree you can add the tamarind pulp but no then the uh, juices will be overwhelming so first dry up the carrot puree a bit and then add the tamarind pulp now adding all the powdered spices kali mirch powder jeera powder etc so again now I will start till this mixture becomes thick again added the inli and goo mixture so you can see our chutney is ready so friends it's very very easy to make this chutney you can see here we need some 5 to 6 ingredients and the chutney is just unique because it has the tangy flavor of uh, tamarind it has good in it the sweet flavor 
then it has carrot also which is very very nutritious as well and uh, it's always desirable that you add seasonal vegetables in your diet so if you don't like eating carrots in your curry etc you can make this chutney and it tastes so much way better than the regular uh, you know regular star fried uh, sabji or vegetable and also it looks yummier it tastes yummier as well i just added some pistachios and some badam almond uh, to garnish this and also added a few slices of carrots some beetroot and that's it friends if you like this recipe please 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 hit the like button below this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such yummy videos thank you so much for watching see you soon with another interesting video thank you so much